disaster strikes, there's little time, if any, to react. And if you're caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, it could mean your life. April 9th, 2015, North Carolina resident Sam Smith is traveling through North Central Illinois when he is caught in the crosshairs of a deadly tornado. He calls his 14-year-old son as he captures the event on his phone. This is a tornado and I cannot tell which way it is going, so I don't know how to get away from it. But it looks like it's coming right towards me. This is a category EF4 tornado. In that category, the winds are estimated at 166 to 200 miles per hour. Sam remains remarkably calm in the midst of chaos. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's going to come right over me. He has never faced this kind of extreme weather and seeks shelter under an overpass. Uh, let me see if I can back up here a little bit and get under the bridge. He's in a bit of a tricky spot here because I feel like if he goes forward and maybe he was thinking the same thing, he's gonna put himself in, in greater danger. Such a false sense of security that you get uh, being under there because uh, what you're doing is buying yourself a few more miles an hour of wind strength with the funneling effect under the bridge and no protection from the debris. Getting under the overpass is like squeezing the water in a garden hose. It goes faster. So the wind gets squeezed, it goes faster. Any debris it picks up is gonna come at you faster. Faced with no good options, Sam has to make a choice. I don't really know what to do except just sit here, maybe duck down. If you're in your car and it's the last resort, you can keep your seatbelt on, you can duck down below the window level, and it can at least protect you from flying debris. Your car is taking that beating and not you. Oh, that is scary. The truck is, oh my gosh. The truck feels like it's about to lift up off the ground. Two hundred mile per hour winds are fully capable of sending Sam's vehicle flying in the air. He is lucky it doesn't. If that tornado had come directly over him, that would have been uh, a horrible place to be. The car would have likely flipped. Fortunately, the tornado took an eastward path that is typically the weak wind side of a tornado. Well, this guy's really lucky that the tornado didn't take a, a hard turn and move right over him because uh, the consequences could have been fatal. This tornado took two lives. Sam's was spared. His truck only suffered minor damage. That is completely crazy. The truck feels like it's about to lift up off.